What's up, you guys, and welcome back to Out of Your Comfort Zone. So, I do want to start off this podcast with firstly apologizing for my video watchers for last week's video because I didn't get to upload it because the lighting was so bad. It was so bad. I think that it probably was not even fixable. Honestly, I don't even know how I look if I think like losing my nose or anything. Um but yeah, I do want to apologize about that. Um uh, yeah it was I tried to salvage the footage. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I tried to salvage the footage. It just didn't work. It was just really like overly lit and I just didn't check the settings on the camera. So, sorry guys, you didn't get a video last week. But, as you guys can see, the video quality, well, video the quality of the video is a lot better, hopefully. Um, so yeah, honestly, it has been a long week. My throat is killing me right now. Um, my friend's birthday has started since last Wednesday, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was just a lot. Um, and I, I feel it. <laughs> like, it's not the best. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm just trying to hang in there. <laughs> and today was pretty much a lot. It, it took a lot. Yesterday, I took off. And just relaxed in bed and then I woke up today and I had a ton of work to get done but you know what you kind of have to know when your body needs rest and I felt like that was the time that I need to listen to my body and I actually do feel a lot better so we actually like we went out to eat and drinks on Wednesday and then Thursday I didn't do anything Friday I think I went with one of my friends I think I think we did something I forgot but then Sunday, we had a outdoor gathering, and that was actually pretty fun. And I just was like, in the sun all day, I actually have sunburn <laughs> for the first time on, like, the upper part of my chest. And it actually is itchy. It's very itchy. Um, and it hurts. Um, I just didn't know, like, what to put on besides, like, moisturizer, so that way it's not, like, dry. Um, I don't know, like... I don't, I don't know, like, what happens, like, when black people get sunburnt. Um, I just don't, I don't find, it's not comfortable at all. Because, like, especially, like, wearing, like, shirts like this. And then I have, like, my jewelry. So it's, like, constantly rubbing on it. It's very irritating. But I feel like I'll be fine. Um, but I did get a nice tan. I got an even tan. So I am satisfied about that. I had on this, um, a tank top and this jacket. But I took the jacket off because I know it's going to be in the sun just in case if I got cold because we were out of water. Um, and my arms got a nice tan, but I did not put any lotion on the cot on my collarbones, so I got cooked. Um, but yeah, we did that, and then like Monday, I woke up and like my throat was just like talking. Like it was, so, it was a lot of people. It was a great turnout, so I am happy that my friend enjoyed his birthday. But it was a lot of like we just chitter chatter, talk, 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 and I feel like um, I was drinking a lot of wine. And I wasn't drinking enough water. Um, so I think that probably what did it. And then we didn't... Well, I didn't leave my best friend's house until... Because we went... We were at the park. And then we went back to um, my best friend's rooftop. And then we went down to the house. And then the party, like, es like not escalated, but, like, took off from there. And then took into the night. But I didn't get home until, like, maybe, like, 4.30. But it was just, like... It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Definitely happy that um, my friend enjoyed his birthday and yeah now I'm in trying to <laughs> get in the healing process but then people were just still wanting to do plans um, I actually have a dinner planned with um, some friends tomorrow and I don't know if I'm gonna make it I'm not sure <laughs> um, depends on how I'm feeling but yeah I'm trying to like also like be a little bit more sober because my birthday is coming up but we'll get into that Okay, 
So, like I had said about wanting to be sober, I want to have like a, I'm thinking about like a sober August because my birthday is coming up. Last year, I was pretty, pretty fucked up. Um, Rabbit Hole has sponsored my birthday, so I was drinking a shit ton of fucking whiskey. And I just was like not okay for like three, four days. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe just being sober. And I think this year I'm not going to drink hot alcohol. I'm just going to do wine. No champagne. Because even champagne, a lot of people are like, oh, like champagne. Look, if you don't drink hot alcohol, you can drink champagne. No champagne is just as worse because it's like, I don't know, it gives you like a bad hangover. And it's just really sweet. Not my thing. Um, so I'm thinking about like just not drinking for the whole month of August. If I do do that, I am the kind of person that out of habit, I just won't drink at all. Um, because I did this one time when I was in North Carolina and I ended up not drinking for two years and it was honestly one of the best things. And then I actually even went vegan as well. So, and then I was vegan for two years. And then as soon as I moved back to New York, I started eating meat and then I started drinking. So I think I may do that. And then, yeah, cause I don't know. I just feel like. Sometimes, a lot of people, they feel like you have to do everything drunk. Yeah, everything is fun, like going out, like drinking and stuff like that. Yes, it is fun. But then after a while, like the toll that it takes on your body, like um, I'm tired of being hungover. Hangovers do not do well with me. I found, I found out. Um, hangovers are not my best friend. So it does take me a longer time than normal people to recuperate from a hangover. Maybe for me, it takes about maybe two to three days um, for me to actually feel normal. Um... It's the first day I'm drinking, the second day I'm like not feeling that well, and the third day I'm like still a little bit out of it, and then by the fourth day, I'm back to normal, and it's just like I just wasted three days, and then also with like work, so if I'm drinking during the weekend, it's like tripling over into the week, and then it's like ruining my work ethic, so I just think that I'm probably just going to slow down on the drinks, and yeah, maybe even just like doing like wine, and if I, maybe once a week. Like if I drink just once a week. So if I have two evenings or gatherings, I only can drink at one. So I think that I might do that, um, which will actually hold me a little bit more accountable because sometimes when I drink, I don't know when to stop because I feel like I'm enjoying myself. It's like, okay, why not? And it's just like, Jerome, you can't do that. So I'm thinking about doing that. And yeah, so I think that's, pretty much like what I really want to do. I don't know exactly what I want to do for my birthday. Um, I don't know what I'm wearing because last year I figured out what I wanted to wear early on. I don't know. I, I'll probably just do like a staycation or something like that. Just something like really simple. Um, I don't know. I was also even thinking about moving. Um, that's one, another thing that's in, like that's been in my mind as well because storage wise. And I feel like that's like a milestone, like just, I've worked hard for two years um, with things changing, and especially this year, things have changed so much for me, um, especially with my move back to New York. So that's been like something that's been on my mind. And it's just like, even what do I wanna, what do I wanna treat myself to for my birthday? Like, not like, even if it's like a materialistic item or something that's like a stepping milestone investment, like what would it be? Okay, like guys, really um so i don't know i'm just thinking about like what what's the next thing that this honking is sending me and the crazy thing is like i was supposed to film this earlier and record this earlier but my dumb ass decided to sit and want to watch youtube vlogs and then now i'm battling between the noise in the house and the noise outside of the house <laughs> and it's annoying me but i'm not going to not gonna let it annoy me but um yeah so i'm trying i'm trying to think like what do like what do i want to do i don't know i'm okay there goes the topic <laughs> why are new york city drivers so fucking impatient knowing that there are so many cars driving around.
I am not. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I've been working since fucking six, no, 7 o'clock this morning. I'm exhausted. I actually shot a bunch of stuff. Um, let, me, let me show you guys what that is. Um, I like shot a bunch of stuff over here. <laughs> so, that's actually what I was working on earlier. And I had to like submit that stuff and captions and all of that stuff in my management. So, I'm exhausted. I'm very tired. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I've always like, like most of the time, the, the crazy thing is like you'll talk about like traffic with an Uber driver and they're always so calm about it. Like, oh, there's no rush. Oh, there's no this. Oh, there's no that. But most of the time, they're the ones to honk. And like every, they'll be in like, they either rushing, speeding, or rushing and speeding, honking, like doing all of the above, but legitimately telling you that there's no rush. But you're the ones that are honking and doing all of this stuff. Like I mean, like even truck drivers. Like I don't even think truck drivers should even be driving on commercial streets because. Why the fuck are you honking and half the time you're driving on a street where buses have to stop and the streets aren't bustled in Bushwick, the, the streets aren't that big. Like literally like if like I'm the street that I'm on is more narrower and there's a bus that goes up and down. So the street is most likely gonna be filled. But there'll be truck drivers with these big trucks and they'll be in the middle of the fucking street and they're honking at people. You are driving on a commercial street. Why didn't you just take the freeway? Did like it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, or take the back streets. The back streets is a lot faster. But like people were just so impatient that they feel like they just need to okay, well let, let me take this way. And then when you're stuck in traffic, they you wanna they wanna I mean like you just witnessed it. They were just leaning on the freaking New Yorkers are impatient. I'm a little impatient just in general, but I feel like in a car, there's like, literally, it doesn't make any sense. There's going to be a street light. So even still, like, if you're in a rush somewhere, a street light is going to stop you for a minute. Nine times out of ten, and then another one's going to stop you. Then you still have to wait for, at stoplights, and you have to let people cross, and there's no rush. There's no rush to get anywhere. And if you feel like you need to get that, get anywhere that fast, you might as well should have just walked, or biked, or ran. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. That's another thing that I definitely do hate about this neighborhood. Everyone loves to honk when no one's going anywhere. Like, literally, no. The intersection that I'm on is a stop sign. What the fuck are you honking for? Like, it's not like people are at a street like where they're holding up the street light. It's literally a fucking intersection with a stop sign. Like, what are you honking to be in a rush for? Just go. I don't know. That's just my little mini rant about New York City traffic. Okay, so summer's almost over. Um, do I feel like I accomplished everything that I needed to? Maybe no. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't know. Like, I, I did. Well, actually, my friends did ask me if I wanted to go to Six Flags this week, and I'm thinking about it. Um, but then again, it's like me overextending myself. I have been making a lot of plans with people. And I feel like I haven't been taking time for me. And I'm one person who likes my own, like, I like my own space. I like my own privacy. I like time to myself. I'm, a, I'm very social, don't get me wrong. But when I feel like my social battery is low, I need time for myself. I will take that time. I will not talk to people. I'll text. But like phone calls, FaceTime calls, like I feel like I need time for me. And I feel like I've been a little overly social than what I'm used to. And it is a little uncomfortable. Um, so which is why like 
I mean, some people they may think that that's weird, but sometimes like when you are, um, you have to, you have your own thoughts that you have to deal with. And I do have like a lot of like things that I'm working on with myself, with me balancing out my own career. And even like, that's all, this is all still new to me. So I still am balancing like the insecurities of that and just my own common insecurities. And then like, on top of that, still trying to be like social. So you, you don't want to pin all of these issues on everyone else. So you just kind of like forget. But then like those problems, as you don't get to sit with them, they start to build up and then they create these other emotions that you still haven't get to sit, you got to sat down with, but you're still trying to remain social with people. It is very toxic. Um, and I feel like I didn't really get to enjoy the summer that I wanted to. Um, I just feel like maybe during the ending of this summer and as my birthday is approaching, I think I'm going to be a little bit more selfish with my time. Um, for do the things that I want to do um, and not being like wanting to be there for everyone else for them to enjoy themselves but I want to do things that for me you know so I feel like I haven't done those things like I wanted to go to Six Flags or go to an amusement park where I had that opportunity now but then I feel obligated that I have to attend other people's things because they have those going on and I don't know, I just feel like I've been overextending myself a little bit too much. That I didn't get to do anything that I really wanted to. So, I don't know, call it selfish, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just need that time for yourself. And it's like time that you're not going to get back. It's the first summer outside of a pandemic on top of that. I have not gotten a chance to even go home to see my family. I have a newborn niece. <laughs> I haven't even got a chance to see her. Um, yeah, like, it's... I just feel like I haven't got to do the things that I actually wanted to do. So I think that that's probably what I'm going to do. That Maybe that is what I might do for my birthday. I haven't got a chance to see my twin brother in a year as well. So um, that will be nice. So I think I might do that. Just like spend my birthday back at home with my family. Um, because yeah, it's been like a year. It's been a, a whole, it's going to be a whole year. Like through a pandemic. Like it's crazy. So I think that that... That's like what's been on my mind lately. Um, it's just been a lot of push and pull with like just with myself. Um, so yeah, I think that that's probably most likely what I am going to do. I know this podcast is like very like low because this is literally how I feel after all of like <laughs> I'm just drained. I'm so drained. So literally right after this, I'm going to just relax and watch YouTube and get back to doing that and. I was actually like working on um, building, just like playing around with like prints and stuff like that to just redo some of the stuff that's in here because I have like some old prints in here and I just feel like it's not vibing anymore. But yeah, I feel so drained even after filming this and I, I need some tea. So I'm going to wrap this podcast episode up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys go over and you can leave a rating. And then for the viewers, go down and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new podcast episode. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Jerome Parker with two R's at the end of um, Parker. Um, the podcast is OOYCZ Podcast on Instagram. I have not uploaded on there in a while, but... Um, once again, I do have a lot on my plate, but I am working working on that and even scheduling things out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, until next week, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Later, guys.